Hey, ke hey, ke hey, ke hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys on how to move around inside of Binyan using your keyboard hotkeys, basically, or just your keyboard. So basically, um, have you ever won, you know, let's say, for example, you have an environment, right? And let's say you want to like show your audience around your environment, right? But let's say you don't have a mocap suit or something like that. Um, you only have just iPhone tracking. What would be a better way of moving your character around um, in your environment? Well, Silver Drill actually made a node graph um, on how to move around inside of Binyan basically. So it looks like this. So I am using my keyboard to basically move around. There is no leg animation or any sort of like walking or running animation. Yes, that is possible, but with the graph set up, um, it doesn't have that. If you know your way with nodes, then you can definitely set it up, but either way, if you want to figure out how to set this up, well, I'm going to video edit on the screen uh, where you can actually download the graph because this is not my graph, this is Suvadrails. So Suvadrail, she has a Discord server. If you want to be a master in Vinyan, I highly recommend please join the Discord server. You'll be updated on every single update on Vinyan. You can request features for Vinyan or if by any chance you need some assistance with nodes or something like that, you could definitely go in that server and ask for any assistance and such. And you can even also download some assets that you can definitely use um, for your streaming as well. There's many props and all that, so it's pretty cool. But either way though, besides um, that, pretty much um, once you do download the graph, which of course, uh, hopefully the screenshot shows you how and where you can download it, um, once you have the graph, um, I will mention there is a VRM and a VSF avatar version. For me personally, uh, it doesn't matter, but there have been reports that uh, sometimes VSF Avatar kind of gets a little finicky depending on the person. So I would just say, um, to start off, if you have a VSF Avatar, use the VSF Avatar version. If you have VRM, then use the VRM one. Um, but try to see which one works best with you, but try you know sticking with whichever file format you have. Most people use VSF Avatar. Um, and if you don't know what VSF Avatar is, I have an ultimate guide on what the heck VSF Avatar is, uh, so if you want to check it out, you can. Um, but with that being said though, what we're going to do, we're going to go into the node graph. You're going to click on add new graph right here. And then here, you're going to load the graph that you downloaded from Suvi. Um, I already have mine, so I don't have to do that. Mine's right here. And this is basically what the graph looks like. Um, now, of course, it may look a little scary, but there's only a few things we really need to focus on. So basically, the first thing is setting up your hotkey filter. I highly recommend set it to Control Shift um, and then pretty much the either W, A, S, D, or something else. Uh, you can even probably set up with any other thing. Uh, you could probably even set it with web sockets, but honestly, I would prefer, I would just say leave it the way it is, uh, just so you don't overcomplicate yourself, basically. So pretty much this is uh, pretty much enough. So that way you can basically do this. So I'm holding control with my pinky, my, my the left side of my keyboard. So control is with my left pinky, my ring finger is on the shift key, and then I'm letting my middle finger and my index finger move around so I can do this, so yeah. And how, and let's say for example, actually not an example, but let's say for some reason, even with the graph, it doesn't work at all for you, like you're not moving. Well, basically the next thing you have to do, of course after you set up your hotkey things, is you have to set up your root bone. Now you could set it to where it can be set to the hip bone, but if you're going to get a bit more advanced with Binyan and start using a lot more nodes, uh, especially ones that affect the hip area or something, um, then I highly recommend please stick with a root bone instead, because definitely a lot of, there's a lot of Binyan graphs that the community provided, uh, but because, um, you know, you don't want to really break your hip tracking because, you know, with iPhone, we do utilize the hip basically and you don't want it to screw up basically. So it's better to set on the root bone. So the root bone basically does everything for you. Um, if you want to set up a secondary root bone, you can, but that's for a little advanced users. So if you're a void mall though, um, if you're a void mall, just set it so the name of the 
uh, root bone will just be root. That's it. That's pretty much for Void models. If you are a non-Void model, this really depends on where did your model come from. Because not every model has a root bone, actually. Some of them remove the root bone or they just don't add it because uh, usually the root bone is seen as unnecessary when actually um, it is actually quite um It's actually not, not unnecessary. It's quite necessary. My bad. <laughs> um, but it's very necessary to have a root bone, that's why I've added it to my own model. Uh, it's really useful, especially if you're going to do some crazy animation blending and such, so very useful. Um, but either way, once you have set up a root bone, or if by any chance you don't have one, you can temporarily set it to the hips, but I highly recommend please use Blender, or if by any chance you are not the creator of your model, please contact um, your modeler or whoever made the model for assistance on that. But either way, um, pretty much once you set it up so the root bone or whichever bone it is, you should be able to be able to move around. If by any chance you still fail to move around, I highly recommend please talk with Suvadrill about it since this is her graph and she could definitely help you out on getting stuff fixed and set up. So yeah, but pretty much that should be how you'll be able to do it. And of course, if you are a more advanced user, you could definitely mess around with the other things if you so desire. If you really want to set up animations, um, you could definitely um, utilize the new animation function, which, hold on a second, it's right here. So there's an action node which has play animation. Um, if you know your way with nodes, you could definitely utilize this so that way, uh, depending on, like, I guess, you know, utilizing trigger nodes or something like that, you could definitely probably be able to make it work. Again, I'm not really much of a node expert. I know the basics of nodes, but I really don't know how nodes are properly arranged, honestly. But either way, if you're an advanced user, you can definitely set it so it can work with the animations, though. Um, but either way, uh, that's pretty much in a nutshell how you can be able to move around properly. Hope that this tutorial helps you out. And uh, let me know if you have any other questions regarding Vinyan. I hope to keep making a little bit more like simple Vinyan tutorials uh, regarding some nodes, even some nodes uh, that the community shares, unless you know they made their own tutorials, of course. Um, I highly recommend, of course, please support Suvidra and please check out the Discord server as well because there are many other people uh, who are you know part of the Vinyan community and. Uh, definitely, it's really nice if you could give your love and support to them as they are helping Vinyan become more accessible and much more easier to use, especially for those who don't like nodes, because I also don't like nodes. Um, but thank you for the community. Uh, thank you, uh, Suvidro, for making Vinyan. Thank you, everyone. Um, and I hope that this helps you out. And let me know if you have any other questions, and I hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!